Hi there Star Wars collectors and welcome to another Bosk Bounty video and in this video we're going to be taking a quick look at the brand new vintage collection figures from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. As you can see here I have three of them in front of you because unfortunately that is all that the vintage collection is getting just these three figures here. We're going to be taking a quick look at all of them but first of all I just want to say a huge thank you to a man called Joel. Now Joel lives in New Zealand and this is where the figures have dropped and out of the blue one day I got an email from Joel offering to send me these figures. Now I did pay for them and I paid for the shipping and everything just to put that out there but he kindly offered to pick me up some and send them across. And they literally took five days to get here, which was absolutely awesome. Now, he packed them really, really well. They're in great shape. And I just wanna show you the little note, which is stuck to the bubble wrap. He says, hey Tim, I hope getting these figures early helps your channel. Not often we get stuff first here in New Zealand. So I was quite surprised when they showed up. I've been a collector since 1995, but was out of the game for a while until the Mandalorian rekindled my interest. Your reviews are what got me back into collecting. Thanks for that. I think it's getting expensive. Cheers, Joel. So thank you so much for the offer, Joel. And of course, I was going to take you up on it. And also, not to mention your wife as well, because I think your wife had a hand in actually picking these up from the store for you. So thank you to Joel and also thank you to Joel's wife. All right then, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the figures and the card backs. I'm not going to be opening them up in this video. I'm going to be doing individual reviews, which will be out on the channel this week. If you're a Patreon supporter or channel member, then a lot of those videos will come early for you guys. But we're just going to take a quick look at the figures and the card backs, as I mentioned. And we're going to start off with Obi-Wan Kenobi, the Wandering Jedi. Of course, we do have the new thicker cardstock with these figures as well. And He's looking pretty good in the bubble there. Amazed at the amount of accessories that he comes with, uh, which is awesome. We've got two versions of Lola there, one with the open wings, if you like, and one closed. You've got his lightsaber hilt, his lightsaber, and a blaster. And the detail on those lightsabers actually looks pretty decent just through the package there. And there, there's the card back. When this one was revealed, I absolutely loved it straight away. It really is a great card back of, of Obi-Wan there. The Wandering Jedi. You've got the Obi-Wan Kenobi logo there, which is obviously the first time we've seen that. And on the back of the card, you've got all of the other figures from the wave, which is just, you know, the three and then some others. And interesting that Din Djarin from Morak is on there. So hopefully he's coming up soon. Now, these three figures are part of a bigger wave, but it seems that we've only got these three from it so far. Now, as you can see, these were picked up from a store called Farmers in New Zealand, and they cost $29.99 New Zealand dollars. Um, I ended up paying about £20 more than retail for four figures because I do have another Darth Vader, uh, one to keep carded. So four figures over here is about sort of £60, £62. To get them shipped over and everything is about an extra £20, which I didn't mind paying because, you know, to get them out early on the channel for you guys. That's the back of the car for that one. Let's take a look at Reva. This is the third sister. Um, again, great looking car back there and just looking at the figure in the bubble there really good likeness can't wait to review this one she looks good plenty of accessories once again um you've got the unlit lightsabers the double lightsaber single lightsabers so you know they've pulled out all the stops for these ones once again you've got the back of the card there so let's take this sticker off so we can see the uh, vc number so that one's vc242 she looks pretty cool so yeah can't wait to review that one and i've just peeled off the sticker there so you can see that the obi-wan figure is vc245 and lastly we have darth vader now this is the one that i really cannot wait to review a guy in new zealand called the middle-aged kiwi man has actually reviewed uh, this one already and it looks absolutely fantastic the definitive Darth Vader we have got right here and what a figure for them to release in the vintage collection you even get interchangeable hands you've got the unlit lightsaber and it just looks great the card back is okay it's a photoshop of Darth Vader and he seems to be standing in that area where he had the fight with Obi-Wan in like the mining sort of colony as as it were interesting that the figure is called Darth Vader the dark times I'm not too sure if there was ever a light time for Darth Vader but but there you go and let's take off the sticker on the back, the price sticker, so we can see uh, the VC number. I'm pretty sure he is VC241, though. Let's have a look. Yeah, VC241. And 
he is just going to be amazing. I cannot wait to review him. Awesome. So there you go then, guys. That's three pretty nice figures for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series. Now, as I've said before in other videos, it is a little bit disappointing that we've only got the three figures from Obi-Wan. And as far as I'm aware, there are no others on the horizon that are going to get revealed. So that is a bit of a shame, especially when the Black Series and the Retro Collection and Mission Fleet are getting much more. It is a bit of a shame, but still it's three brand new sculpts, three brand new figures and you know to have a brand new Darth Vader that is just absolutely awesome. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members. Your support means a great deal to me so thank you for that. Also once again thank you very much to Joel for sending these over to me. Really appreciate that my friend. I'm super super happy with these figures and I just cannot wait to do the videos and get them out and review them and have a look at how good they are so thank you so much for that all right then guys thank you so much for watching be sure to check out the channel in the next few days where i'll be reviewing all of these figures thank you very much for watching and we shall see you on the next one